What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about ternary operators in Java. And ternary operators are used on a daily basis in your day-to-day -day development. They're one of those crazy things that don't really seem that important, but when you actually start working and when you actually start becoming a professional developer, you're gonna see ternary operators every single day. And we use ternary operators because they can turn a very lengthy if statement into a fancy one-liner. So this would be how much space and how much, um, how much time it would take to actually build a if statement. And this is a lot of time. This is a this take requires a lot of space. And when we use ternary operators it looks like this. So the best way to understand what a ternary operator is, is just realizing that ternary, ternary means three, three parts. And what are the three parts of this expression, this uh, syntax that we use? This is the first part. So whenever you see a ternary operator, just look at this part, then look at this part this is going to be part number three and this is going to be our part number two and this is going to be part number three so if you were to actually turn this ternary operator into a real if statement it would look like this so fave your favorite animal my favorite animal it right now is the beaver sometimes it's a turtle so it goes back and forth it could be depending on the day and to Today it's going to be beaver, and if I were going to, if I were not wanting to use a ternary operator, and I were just going to do it with a regular if statement, it would look like this: is equal to true. So favorite animal is equal to true. And I'm going to go down here and have my else, and if it's false, it's going to say that favorite animal is equal to false and as you can see this clears up a lot of code and clears up a lot and i'm just going to show you how they match so this will be the first part of the ternary operator this will be the second part and this will be the third part and depending on if it's true or false it's going to be assigned a different value so if that's confusing to you, just look at it like this. This is what is going to be evaluated. And if the statement is true, it will evaluate to this. And if the statement is false, it's going to be evaluated to this. And what this ex exclamation mark actually means is this is what sets it up. This is actually what creates the ternary operator. And this is going to set and toggle these tr two true false values. So whenever you see this uh, question mark right here, just realize that this is going to be, the, if, this, if this part evaluates to true, and this part is going to be if it evaluates to false. And that's really all that it means. And let's go inside here and let's put our fingers to the keyboard and let's practice a couple times. and actually create a ternary operator of our own. So as usual, favorite, we're gonna going to create a nice little favorite animal string. Then we're going to have beaver. And then right here, we're going to have Boolean. And we'll have is, if this animal is a beaver, it's going to equal favorite animal. And it's going to do the ternary operator. And this one looks a little bit different than the actual example in our whiteboard because in the whiteboard example, we're not storing our ternary operator inside of a value, but in real life, what is going to happen is that you are going to see the ternary operator stored within a variable. So is beaver is going to equal this. And this part is not actually even a part of the ternary operator. It's more so just a place that you can actually store the, the actual variable. So let's continue on here. And what's going to happen is that 
we are going to check our favorite animal and telesense kind of messed up there and then we'll use our question mark and we're going to actually create our uh, ternary operator remember the question mark creates the ternary operator if it evaluates to true it will execute this part and if it evaluates to false it will execute this part but keep in mind that you could put anything in here you could put this is a beaver and that will evaluate and we will we would have to change the type and this part right here we could also put this is not a beaver <laughs> and th this is totally valid it, this does not have to be a true what this is more indicative of like i said is if this if if this is true if this expression right here evaluates this part will evaluate if it's true if it's not true then this part will evaluate right here so let's go down here and let's actually console log out our is beaver so gonna go ahead hit the bug as always make sure you set your breakpoint right here and i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna step through it and i'm going to see what happens so favorite animal is going to be beaver of course and it's going to check the quality it is indeed true so this is not a beaver so we're going to go down and going to console log out is this a beaver and if you look let me see i'm just going to go ahead and stop and rerun it so this is a beaver so let's just say uh my favorite animal fluctuates into uh it's the weekend so i'm feeling like, kind of like a turtle kind of guy and i'm going to check if in this expression gonna leave it the same so it's not going to be a beaver and what you will see what will happen this is not a beaver and that is pretty much ternary operators that's going to help you guys a lot in the real world hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching